Hey family, all my loved ones. Welcome back to another word with daily doses of love. I am Tamara, AKA Kia, if you're new here. Um, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. And let's get into this word, y'all, because I've been trying to, let me tell you, I've been trying to get this word to y'all for like two weeks. Um, rain or shine, I just, <laughs> so many things have happened. So I'm like, let me just get this out because it's still stirring in my spirit. And I know when the Lord sends a word, we got to move and we got to act on it immediately. Okay. So the Lord says, it's not what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. Family, whatever situation you are facing right now, the Lord says he has your back. God has your back. You don't have to worry about um, how the final outcome is going to be or um what you you just get yourself into position and prepare thank you holy spirit i felt that prepare yourself in the way that he has advised you because some of y'all have gotten the word i got your bag already and you are like okay lord what we gotta do where we gotta go we gotta <laughs> slow it down <laughs> He has your back. But remember that in the midst of things, because there's also some of y'all who have been very cautious looking around like, okay, Lord, you you said you was going to show up, but um, it's been a month. I haven't seen very much progress. I'm not really feeling it. Sit tight. It's on its way. Whatever it is that he told you he was supposed to do, it's coming. Okay. So, Proverbs 19, verse 21, I'm reading the New International Version, um, says, There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel, that will stand. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right there because I want to make a note of something. When you read this verse in the Bible, it says, The Lord's counsel, dash, that will stand right there, family. God is emphasizing that that above all is going to stand. That will stand. That's how you read that. And I was like, ooh, I felt that, God. I felt it. I felt. See, it's so funny. I, I know I'm I'm making a, a a sidebar right now, but when studying the Bible, as I would say, like. And maybe in my younger years, it was just kind of like, I don't want to say like a task or a chore, but along the lines of a task or a chore. But now in my maturity, in my faith and studying my Bible, I'm y'all got to get into this daily word. I got to, that's going to be another word, but get into your word daily because you're going to find that God drops gems, even though these scriptures are thousands of years old tried and true you're gonna find a gem every time the holy spirit is gonna speak to you okay so yes that will stand the lord's counsel so seek counsel with the lord get up in the morning this is another word get up in the morning um before you do anything else even if you only have two or three minutes spend that time with god and pray spend it because he will counsel you I trust me. Okay, so the next word was Deuteronomy um, six twenty three. Then he brought us out from there, that he might bring us in to give us the land of which he swore to our fathers. So here, family, the Hebrews thought they were losing. This is this is uh, when Moses was leading the Hebrews out of Egypt. They thought they were losing. They weren't sure. Like, okay, Lord, what's up? Like, you said you were going to give us a brand new land. We done left everything we knew, even though it was terrible there. Where are we going? We don't even know what we're doing. But having faith in God, they had no idea that God had Canaan for them. If they would just hold tight, just hold tight, God will show up. So, now we jump into Matthew 28, verses 18 and 20. 
And Jesus came and spoke to them saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Listen. When... It seems like, and this is this is just what the Holy Spirit dropped in my spirit. When it seems like the Lord isn't with you and you are dealing with that rebellious teenager, when it seems like the Lord isn't with you and you are showing up to work and you are hit with multiple duties you have to do because hey, the staff is out because they tested positive. When it seems like you don't know how you gonna pay that car note because you pouring all your money into your business as the Lord instructed you to because he said that thing was gonna take off. When it seems like you uh, just can't catch a break, but you know that you know that God said that you were supposed to act on something or you were supposed to sit still inside of something, a situation, um, a, an apartment or a place or that you, you know you need to get out of. Family, trust the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. God said he got your back. That thing that, that you think in the midst of the storm is going to take you out. Let's just be real. God said, I'm here to remind you that I'm still here with you. Still here with you. I knew you before I formed you in the womb. I am still here with you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. So that's my word for today, y'all. Be encouraged. Um, I want to pray with you quickly before I let you go. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that um, you touch the person that is watching this video right now. Um, come into their hearts, Lord, and remind them that you are still with them. You will never leave them nor forsake them, and that you are there with them always. Whatever that situation is, you have already gone before them to take care of it, that the battle is won, the victory is won. In Jesus' name, amen. Family, may you receive this word in the mighty name of Jesus. I will be back with another word again. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and blessings.